Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be working in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're gonna be doing a paper ceiling job for this customer uh, that saw me on YouTube. Uh, we got two jobs on the schedule today. We're gonna be doing a paper ceiling here, and then we have a pool kitchen, pool deck cleaning in Largo, which is like right around the corner from here. I got Dewan with me. Uh, he's gonna be out here learning how to uh, seal pavers. Uh, these pavers for this customer was installed last year in December, so they're almost two months old. So they're not dirty at all. So our plan is to apply a nice layer mix of uh, SH to clean them up. And then we're just gonna rinse it off with a gun. We're not gonna trouble nozzle or anything. There's no weeds and we're not gonna surface clean anything. So let's go check the job out. But before I do guys, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment. All right, let's go check the job out. All right guys, this is the back area here. The one is applying the mix already. We're gonna, um, let this sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna rinse it off we're not gonna like i say surface clean this because this is new there's no weeds and there's not no dirt on here but we do want to you know clean the surface so we can um have a nice you know base so we can put our sealer down <laughs> it's a little chilly out here this morning too man i didn't know it was gonna be like this i know it's not cold compared to up north but it's like 50 degrees this morning and we're close to the water st petersburg is right by the gulf so getting that nice cool weather on this side here Uh, guys so we've been dwelling for about 10 minutes we're gonna come back here and uh, start rinsing everything off the pavers we got an overcast day super overcast day hopefully that sun peaks out over there it helps us out Yeah, he, that dog following us, man. He look, he just staring at us. <laughs> you wanna be in the video, my man? How you doing? Oh, he went towards you now. That dog enjoying the show.
right guys we got everything over here already rinsed close this gate just in case the dog come out So yeah, everything is rinsed. We're just gonna rinse down the cage for him as well. He got a little dirt on there, you know. Just a courtesy, courtesy for the customer, man. See over here is nice and rinse as well. When the papers are sealed, this is probably what it gonna look like closer to this look instead instead of the pale look. When we come back from um, our little breakfast and uh, our other job, they're gonna be back pale white again <laughs> when we come back. So I right, don't fall in the pool now because you're gonna need some milk. y'all we just got done cleaning the pool deck uh, we're gonna go ahead and go up to uh, Lago and uh, knock out full cage pool deck no ceiling and then we'll be back here I still gotta stop and get some sand there's a paver supply store in Lago as well so I'll pick up some silica sand over there so we'll see you guys when we get back okay right now we're in Lago Florida we're gonna be doing the um, pool cage cleaning and uh, pool deck cleaning for this customer, which saw me on YouTube as well. <laughs> Two leads from YouTube in one day. I don't think that's ha that has happened yet. So the one is about to start spraying the cage down. And um, the deck does have a lot of furniture. The customer told me that, you know, he was not able to move them. So just go around the furniture. So that's what I'll do. So let's check it out. So the one is, um, downstreaming the deck right now and um you guys can see how we got some algae growing on the oh i'm getting sprayed ooh, ooh. on the cage you can see all down here got some green this cage is oxidized as well so i'm gonna get that on camera but yeah, they're not gonna move all this stuff. So we're just gonna go around it as best as, best as we can. Check out over here, this dirt. Look at this right here. So downstream mix, you're gonna get everything clean pretty well. The deck itself is not terrible, but we got algae going in the joints once we downstream that all oh, that should come off easy nice and clean this thing is caked up the downstream mix is about two percent with the super sud sucker which is perfect for all this stuff to get done once we're done it's gonna come back real nice real clean real white I love cleaning the white cages. All right, the one just got doing the outside. We're spraying down the inside now. See all the beans. Also the inside of the cage, uh, the screens are sprayed as well.
bad. All that algae starting to brighten up now. You can see it on each one of those beams down there. I'm missing one. <laughs> <laughs> All that. Let's get my watch back. Doing so good, man. Thing. It's looking much better in here so far. The one is starting to rinse the outside. I don't think I'll surface clean this deck. I'm gonna just knock it out with the nozzle. There's so much stuff to go around, so therefore I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the nozzle because the surface cleaner is gonna be kind of difficult to man maneuver around all that furniture. Looking pretty good, man. It just comes off like butter. Okay, we all finished here. Let's check it out. Drainage was a little, a little bad over here, but we got it done. So this is the cage here. Nice and white and clean. All the algae that was on those beams are gone. Looking pretty good. This is what we want. Got the deck rinsed. Everything over here looks nice. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we already done here. We already ate. Now it's time to go back. Actually, I gotta grab some sand and then I'll head back to the first project to finish up. Sanding and sealing. Overcast day. It's been quite a few hours. I left there like 8.45, it's 11.49, so three hours plus the time it's gonna take us to get there, so it should be pretty much dry. So we see y'all when we get back. All right, y'all, we're back at the job. All the papers are dried. We're gonna go ahead and uh, sand them up now. Right now, the sand is kind of low. Let's see. So we got low sand, we're gonna add some sand. I'm gonna use silica sand. Oh, got a call coming through. All right.
right, so this is the silica sand. This is called medium sand, the same thing uh, for this grade. Uh, for this, I mean, it's not grade, for this uh, brand. Medium sand is silica sand. So this is what we're using. We got our brooms here. This is a soft bristle broom. It's easy for me to get the sand in there without, without it coming out the joints. Out here we have our 4K bucket sprayer with a 12 volt, got my blower. And uh, today we're gonna be using Deco Silicast. So we're using Deco product Silicast for this job. So I'm gonna teach the one how to seal pavers. Cause he's a rookie and um, I want him to succeed, all right? Let's get going. <laughs> We got everything sanded, so we're gonna blow the excess off. See all the sand sitting on top? You don't want that. And you don't want the joints to be sloppy like this. We did get a bunch of it off, but there's still a lot left over. Let me show you guys the outside part. See, joints are looking much better than earlier. Nice and filled. Nah, we're gonna blow it off. I know I get these questions a lot. <laughs> Does the sand go in the pool? Absolutely. Some of it will go in the, in the pool. There's nothing you can really do about that. You can try to blow away from the pool. You know, you can try to maybe, you know, sweep a little bit more so you're not blowing sand everywhere. But it's impossible not to get sand in the pool. I mean, no, 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 no fall, bro. I was gonna give you some milk. <laughs> um, it's like going to the beach. <laughs> you wash your body off, and then um, <laughs> you get in the car. It's full of sand. Sand is, you know, it's hard to, to maneuver it. So you do your best that you can. The customers can always get a pool service. Uh, they got a fuel pump. I mean, a, a pool pump that can, um, you know, get the pool clean as well. So. And that's why I like to use silica sand also instead of polymeric so it's kind of safe to use around pools polymeric will probably clog it up because uh, it hardens like concrete fast once uh, it's activated with water so I'm gonna grab the blower and blow everything off and um, we'll be back when we start sealing All right, you guys, we got sealer down. I mean, my socks just got done doing the second coat, so still a little bit of wetness going around. Let me close this door. You guys can see what we're looking like now. Ooh, so these are looking good. These are looking good. 
<laughs> yeah, a little bit of the sealer got in the pool. But look at it. Still looks fine. When the hair is drying up. Yes, sir. Use the deco products today. My normal sealer. Shout out to my man Breck. That's my distributor. He's the one that uh gets me the sealer. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, that's it for the day. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you give me a like, subscribe. Any questions you got, go ahead and ask them and hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.